This art project is inspired by the book Tree Whole Homes. There are many different animals that live in the forest, and with so much variety, it's no surprise that there are many different places that the animals make their homes. One of those places are holes in trees. Sometimes holes in trees are created naturally when a limb falls off and creates an opening, but holes can also be created by boring birds and insects. Some animals that find shelter in tree holes are raccoons, squirrels, owls, and other birds. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, when I started out drawing out my raccoon or whatever animal it is that you want on the inside of your tree, I didn't start out with the circle. I started out with the head because I felt like that would be easier because on the back side, as you can see, I was like, oh, that hole is too small. So I thought I want to make sure I had enough room for my animal. So I started drawing that first. Then I drew the overall circle for the hole um, in where my animal lives in the tree. The next move that I started to make was starting to think about what did I want on the forest floor? You know, maybe some leaves, some mushrooms, or maybe even some of these cool tendrils that are coming up from the ground. So I started thinking about that next. My next step in drawing this project was to start making the tree trunk where the animal lives. And then at the very top, I added some branches going off to the side just for some added textural elements that I'll be adding on later into this project. So I think now that I've finished with my drawing, I'll go into the next steps. I went ahead and took a black marker and went over all of my pencil lines next. For my painting choice, I grabbed some of these watercolor crayons. You know, the cool thing about them is that there's a lot of variety of color and you can put different layers of thickness and different colors and have more control over your paint. For example, when I was coloring the tree trunk, I used a thicker brown crayon and then I lightened it up a little bit towards the center of the tree trunk. I also, as you can see at the bottom, used a light green to get started on my coloring. And then I'm adding some dark green to get some more variety of different colors into my project. Look at what I'm gonna do for the sky as well. I started with a light blue, but since it's the sky, I added some purple in with the sky as well so that it can mix the light blue and the purple together to create some new colors. Again, look at the dark green and the light green in the blades of the grass. And now when I add water and a paintbrush, those watercolor crayons will turn into a paint. I love the way this looks, adding plenty of water and getting some nice rich colors into this project. You'll notice between each color, when I went from the green to the red, I'm washing out my brush. I'm washing it really good so that the colors do not mix and spread where I do not want them. So again, washing my brush, dipping it into the brown, and letting the watercolor crayons do their magic by turning into a paint. I love the variety of values to create this project. It really looks so cool, don't you think? Lastly, I'm going to take a stack of green colored pieces of paper, medium green, dark green, light green, and I started drawing out some leaves. This is going to be a really cool additional item that I could add to my project. 
If you have other ideas of which you would like to add into your tree, feel free to do so. These are just some ideas to get myself started. Once I've drawn out the leaves, I'm also grabbing some oil pastels to really make them look like leaves, to give them some three dimension. Don't just leave it a solid color of construction paper, but please take your oil pastels and add some patterns and designs to make them look more like leaves. They look so much more three dimensional and ready to attach onto the project. I'm gonna place them where that I want them and then I grabbed a glue stick and started gluing them down onto the page. Feel free to use a regular glue bottle with uh, white glue as well. I love it. I hope that you had fun creating your own project too.